Sitting down with Brink Bionics, or should I say having a video call with them, the first things that my eyes darted to was a weird glove contraption on Eric White's right hand. A black, fingerless glove with one wrap around the index finger. Orange blocks across the back of the hand, and a black tube coming out of the side. The impulse, as they called it, already looked like a neural implant straight out of a dystopian interconnected future. And apparently, it gives you the superior input of one too. Eric, the CEO and co-founder, greeted me and introduced himself along with the team. The crew behind Brink Bionics is a team of engineers, originally working on prosthetics and bionic arm technology. Their knowledge of the field, along with their passion for gaming, guided them to the design of the Impulse Neural Controller, a neural-guided glove that tracks the muscle signal information of the user's hand. It isn't a full replacement for the keyboard and mouse. The Brink Bionics team developed the Impulse with existing gaming equipment in mind. Their goal was to provide a supplement to your gaming rig in order to reduce the amount of time it takes to send your mouse click in. However, it's not just the mechanics of the glove that vastly decreases the amount of time it takes to pull the virtual trigger, it's the AI behind the scenes too. Brink Bionics has developed their own machine learning AI to make a neural model based on the user's personal nervous system. This is what Eric taught me as he brought up his own model to demonstrate. He then clicked several times, showing the milliseconds difference between when his finger clicked the mouse compared to when the four muscle sensor modules on the impulse tracked his electrical signals. Right now, as you click a button or type a key, that's reactive. The impulse is proactive. The time between a muscle contraction and the press of a key can take up to 150 milliseconds. Both the impulse, it tracked Eric within 80 milliseconds before he clicked the mouse. To the average person, milliseconds of a difference might not be that big of a deal. Eric admitted this as we were talking about how the impulse wouldn't make that much of a difference for building or construction games, but for shooters, it could mean a win versus a loss. He then booted up Halo Reach on PC to show me the impulse in action. As he timed shots of the DMR, it was nearly impossible to see with my eyes the change of milliseconds, but what I did see was that the impulse fit him, literally, like a glove. At no point in time did it seem like Eric was uncomfortable. I could tell that Brink Bionics really did have gamers in mind when they built this device. The impulse is a natural addition to any competitive gamer who is trying to reduce the amount of time from thought to execution. Knowing the difference in time without the sacrifice of comfort piqued my interest in the device. As a gamer who just came off of Doom Eternal, an intensity-driven Twitch shooter wherein if you stop, you die. It might just be a necessity. I brought up a single worry to Eric in our session. Brink Bionics had designed the impulse to read the electrical signals of the user before their muscles contract. So what happens when you click the mouse after the AI software has already detected your input? Eric reassured me that there are systems in place on the back end to prevent a double input. Machine learning helps negate false positives. That's why it's key for the AI to make a model based on your own nervous system. So it doesn't mistake a wrong input or add an additional one. Eric also added that you can just use your neural inputs to shoot. He demonstrated this as he lifted his hand away from the mouse, bent his finger, and on the screen the DMR shot once again. Seeing the impulse neural controller in action was like seeing the first part of neuralware from Cyberpunk come out in our reality. A glove that tracks your muscle electrical signals and uses a machine learning AI to perfect your inputs, thus ultimately improving your whole gaming experience? The impulse is something that I hope gets integrated across multiple systems soon. The best part is that you don't have to install a wire directly to your brain to use it. So go check it out on Kickstarter or look for it on the shelf soon. This has been Spencer Reese from Rogue Media Gaming, reminding you to play like a rogue.